Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica, and welcome to Learning English with Jessica. In this video, we're going to listen and practice our English through many different conversations. You can play it again repeatedly while engaging in other activities to help your brain memorize the language. Be patient, and you will swiftly improve your speaking and listening skills. Now, let's jump right into the video. What's wrong with you today? Hey, Bob, how's it going? Fantastic, Henry. Morning, Anna. How's your report? Thanks for helping me yesterday. I'm almost done with it. Good to hear that. Keep it up. Can you help me print out this document, Henry? Sure. No problem, Sarah. Wait a second. Here's the coffee you asked me to buy for you on the way to work, Tony. Thank you so much, Henry. Let's work hard today, everyone. Hello, Henry. Hey, Henry, I saw your report and it was very detailed. Good job, man. What's wrong with Henry today? I'm about to ask the same thing. Yeah, me too. He's always the one who runs around with us. You're right. Henry is energetic and friendly. And he knows how to cheer us up. There must be something wrong with him. Maybe his girlfriend dumped him yesterday. I don't think so. As far as I know, he doesn't have a girlfriend. Or maybe because he lost all his money. What? He was robbed? I guess so. It cannot be that bad. Whatever problems Henry had, he must be very sad and lost motivation to work. Hey guys. I've just come up with an idea. I suggest that we should take turns cheering him up today. How does that sound? I'll go with it. Me too. Okay, let's bring the old Henry back. Are you okay, Henry? It's okay. You don't have to tell me. I get it. You know, it's not the end of the world. There's nothing to be sad about. I know that you really like coffee. Take it. Trust me, after drinking it, you will be able to deal with every problem in life. Yesterday, I could not enter my house because I lost my key. I knew you would be surprised. But don't worry, I went to my friend's house to sleep over. And I found out that I didn't lose my key. I just left it on my desk in our office. <laughs> As you can see, just because you have a bad day doesn't mean you have a bad life. So, cheer up, Henry. Hey, Henry. I just want to say that your presentation yesterday was perfect. Everything you did went beyond our expectations. Just sending good thoughts, and I hope that you know you are more amazing than you think. You've been doing great, Henry. Um, everyone? Yes, Henry. What's the matter? Why did you guys just come to my seat and say something kind of emotional to me? Oh, we thought that you were having some problems that are hard to say. Yes, you've been being quiet and we were worried, Henry. Everyone's right. You didn't say hello or cheer us up today. If you need anything, we are here and we won't leave you behind. Well, actually... <clears throat> We always listen to you, Henry. Please tell us. Oh, yes. So, this morning, I forgot to brush my teeth. 
Wait, Wait what? what? Yeah, I know it's kind of awkward to say something like this. I was so nervous that my breath smelled, so I chose to be silent. <laughs> oh, Henry. It's no big deal, man. The times that I forget to brush my teeth might double yours. <laughs> OMG, I'm speechless with you, Tony. So, I hope we all cleared up our misunderstanding. Yes, thank God you are still okay, Henry. Thank you, everyone. I just forgot to brush my teeth, but everyone cares about me a lot. Oh, come on. We are your friends, Henry. Okay, let's hang out after work, everyone. Sure. Let's work hard today and enjoy our Friday. Company rules. Excuse me, today is my first day at work. Hi, Lucy. Welcome to the company. My name is Sarah. I'm the Human Resources Manager. Hello, Sarah. Let's go to my office. Now I will tell you about the company rules. I will tell you some basic rules. The details will be sent to your email. Yes, I understand. First, about the work day. You need to be at work on time. You will work eight hours a day, five days a week. How about the lunch break? Lunch break will last two hours. Great, I got it. One more thing. The company doesn't allow you to do other things during work hours. Unless it's related to work. Oh, I understand. Can I go out to buy things? During working hours, if you need to go out, you must tell your manager about the time and reason. Okay, I understand. Thank you for explaining the rules. I will follow them. Good. Those are a few basic rules. Others are in the email. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me. Yes, I got it. Thank you so much. At the meeting room. Henry, this is Lucy, our new assistant. Please help her to get used to the work. Henry is also an assistant. He will train you and let you know about your work. Hi, Lucy. Welcome to the company. Hi, Henry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's go. I will show you the meeting room of the company. Wow, it's so big. Yes, every week the company has a meeting on Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesday is the team sales meeting and Friday is the manager meeting. Is it the same every week? Yes, unless there's an emergency. Okay, let me take notes. Sure. Your job will be to record the information of the meeting. Also, you will help the director in handling tasks. Oh, for example? Such as receiving reports, arranging work, and scheduling meetings. I think I got it now. Thank you for your help. You are welcome. new project. Here is Bob. Bob is the main responsible person for the company's projects. This is Lucy. She is a new assistant at our company. Hi, Lucy. Welcome to the company. Hi, Bob. Nice to meet you. I hope you can help me at work. Sure. Now, I will tell you about the projects that the company is working on. Here is the information. Okay. Let me read it. If you have any problems, just ask me. Great, thank you. Don't mention it. The company is preparing to start a new project. You will join in this project. Really? I am new and I don't know much about the project. I believe you can do it. Everyone will be willing to help you. Oh, I see. I will carefully prepare.
agreement. Hi, Lucy. My name is Anna. I work in the administrative department. This is your work agreement with the company. Oh, will I be on a trial period for two months? Yes. After you pass, the company will consider signing an official agreement with you. A confidentiality agreement. What does this mean? It means you need to keep secret about all of the information of the company. Oh, I see. Let me read it. If you have any questions, just ask me. Got it. I will sign it after reading it and give it back to you. Okay. Working hours. Hi, Lucy. Today you're working overtime again. Yes. There's still a few tasks I haven't finished yet. Are there any problems? Do you need help? No, thank you. I'm good. I can do it by myself. You're so hardworking. That's right. It has been two months from the time you were hired, and I've always seen you stay late to work. Yes, it seems like you work overtime every day. Nothing serious. I just want to finish the work within the day. Never put off until tomorrow what you can do today, right? Good thinking. I'm impressed. What time do you usually get off work? Around 8 or 9 p.m. Wow, that's very late. You really work hard. Don't you feel tired? Sometimes, but I really love my job. Since I've been doing this work, I've learned a lot. Yes, but work never ends. I think you should arrange your time to work more efficiently. You are right. I will try to balance work and rest. I have things to do. I'll leave now. Take care. Sure. See you tomorrow. I have to go, too. Work is important, but remember to take care of your health. I understand. Thank you. Goodbye. Salary increase. Lucy, please come to my office. I need to talk with you. Hi, Sarah. Did you want to see me? Yes, let's see. You've been doing this job for almost six months, right? Yes, it has been five and a half months. How do you feel? Very good. Everyone in the company is very enthusiastic. They have helped me a lot. I've learned so many things. Good to hear that. Do you feel that the current workload is too much for you? No, I can handle it. Your performance is excellent. The company highly appreciates what you've done. After discussing this with the director, we decided to raise your salary. Really? The company will increase your salary 15% compared to before. Wow, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for the raise. Although the time you joined the company was not long, we can see you put lots of effort into your work. Yes, I want to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity. And I'm very happy that the director has recognized my dedication. I will keep working harder. Well done. Keep trying. Promotion. Hi, Lucy. Please come to the director's office in the next 10 minutes. We have something to discuss with you. Hi, I'm here. Please take a seat. Oh, Bob's also here. Is there a problem? No, here are the things. Since you've come to the company, you've done a great job. Lucy has brought numerous projects to the company. When did Lucy start working here? In April last year. So it's been over a year now, right? What do you think, Bob? Lucy has supported me a lot. 
From the time Lucy started working, she has always worked hard. All the projects she takes responsibility for are successfully completed. Thanks for your compliment. That's what I should do. It can't be done without your help. Yes, for all those reasons, we decided to promote you. You will manage the sales team. Bob will support you. I hope you guys can work together and bring more projects to the company. And find potential customers. What do you think? This is a great opportunity for me. I will happily take this chance. And I will try my best to help the company grow more and more. I believe you can fulfill this role well. Director. Hi, sir. Do you have time right now? I have something to tell you. Okay, take a seat. What's the matter? Sir, I have heard that Lucy will be promoted and moved to a new department. That's right. Any problems? I have a little personal opinion to say. To be clear, I have no objection to Lucy's promotion. But I have been in the company for a long time, and I have devoted a lot to the company. I just don't understand why I'm still not getting a promotion or raise. I understand your concern. Before answering your question, I also have a few questions for you. Sure. As a person who works with Lucy, what do you think about her ability? Very well. She is a responsible person. But I am no less. All right, stay calm. During your time working at the company, did any projects you work on help to make a profit? Hmm. No, but there are many reasons. It's not just me doing the project. Other people also have responsibilities. I have always done my duty well. Are you blaming me? I'm not blaming you. You're a longtime staff of the company. I do not deny your contributions. But you haven't made any achievements for the company. Lucy tries very hard and puts a lot of effort into the development of the company. That's why she got promoted. You are also very good at your work. Maybe if you try harder, in the future I will consider promoting you to a higher position. I got it. Thank you for answering my questions. I will try harder. I'll go back to work now. Sales department. Bob, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's wrong, Lucy? Are you in charge of the company's business projects? Yes. The projects and sales are closely related. I just moved here, so there are a few things I'm not sure about. Can you help me? No problem. What do you need to know? I want to know in the sales department which sales are responsible for which projects. And I want to make a document about the client working with the company. Okay. Let me summarize the information and talk with everyone on the team. Give me two days. Then I'll give you the details. Okay. Thanks for your support. You are welcome. Ah, and I have something to tell you. Currently, we are looking for a new project. I may need your help. I understand. On Thursday, we will have a meeting with the sales team and the project team. Then we will discuss this issue in more detail. Okay. If there isn't any problem, I'll go back to work now. Okay. Thank you. Holiday Entitlement It's almost Easter Day. Have you received the company holiday notice email yet? I have received it, but this morning was too busy, so I haven't read it yet. Easter is on a Monday, isn't it? That's right. We'll have a day off. Great. We will have a long weekend. Do you have any plans on that day? I plan to attend to church. How about you? 
I will spend time with my family and friends. Nice. Easter is a great day to spend time with loved ones. You are right. And you, Tony? What are you going to do on that day? I think I will have an Easter egg hunt with my daughter. Sounds interesting. Do you participate in this activity every year with your daughter? Yes, always. We will decorate hard-boiled eggs together. Then I will hide chocolate eggs around my house and yard for my daughter to find. That sounds great. I can't wait for the day. Me neither. Report. Hi, Tony. Have you finished your report yet? Yes. Have you sent it to me? Hmm, not yet. I just finished. Please wait for me for a bit. I will give it to you right away. Okay. When you're done, bring it to my office. Sure. No problem. This is the report you told me to do. Wow, you finished it very quickly. Thank you. Let me take a look. Can you summarize the report for me? Of course. This report consists of three parts. The first part is the information about the project. The second part is the work results of last month. Oh, how much is the revenue? Pretty good. You can see a number here. Wow, very impressive. You have worked hard. How many contracts were signed last month? About five contracts. Are there any new customers? It's two out of five. Okay, we need to find more customers. What is the next part? The third part is the plan for next month. I see. Very detailed. Did you face any difficulties? As you see, I had a little trouble finding new customers. Okay, I got it. After I finish reading this report, I will give you my feedback. Yes, thank you. Tea break. Finally, I'm exhausted now. Great. I'm so excited. What do we have here? We have tea and many delicious cakes here. Wow. Can't wait to taste them. Before we start, I want to say a few words to everyone. In the last few weeks, you guys have worked very hard to complete the company's projects. I know a lot of you are very tired. After this project is completed, the company will have a small gift for everyone. So let's work together on the project. Really? What is the gift, Sarah? This will be announced later. Ooh, I'm so curious. Let's start the tea break. Wow, so delicious. This scone cake is so cute. I can't bear to eat it. Oh, I can eat it for you. Never. Dream on, Bob. Wow. We also have yogurt here. I love yogurt. What do we have to drink? Well, tea cannot be missed. Is it just tea? I don't really like it that much. Don't worry. Coffee and soft drinks are also available. Great. I want a coffee. Give me a cup of tea, please. Thank you. Here you are. Thank you. How long will this tea break last? About one hour. Then we will continue the meeting. I see. Let's enjoy this moment. Team Leader
Here are the documents for today's meeting. Let's read it. The plan for this year is the promotion project. I'm sorry I'm late. I already sent you an email announcing the meeting. Didn't you read the email? Sorry, Sarah. I read it. But I went to see a client and we had some problems. So the time was delayed and I couldn't make it on time. Okay, I see. I will overlook it this time. But in the future, if you can't come on time, you need to let me know. Thanks for your understanding. Here is the document for today's meeting. Okay, thank you. Does anyone have an idea of how to do this project? I had this idea. We can organize an event for customers to come and experience our products. Good. Does anyone have opinions about this idea? No, Sarah. I think it was a good idea. So let's do as Henry said. Henry is going to follow up with each of you about your role. And we will have a report back from the tasks next week. Do you all get it? Yes. yes. We're finished here. Thanks. Training. Everyone, please pay attention. Today we have new trainees. Let's welcome them to the company. Hi, everyone. My name is James. I'm a new trainee. Hi, my name is Barry. Nice to meet you guys. Hello, Hello. Welcome, welcome, to welcome to the company. What is your major, James? My major is digital marketing at the University of Winchester. How about you, Barry? My major is trade marketing. Oh, are you both at the same university? Yes, that's right. Do you guys know each other? Actually, no. We take different classes. Let me introduce the members of the company. Here is Bob. He's on the project team. Bob is the main person responsible for all the company's projects. This is Lucy. She's on the sales team. This is Henry. He is the assistant of the director. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you all. all. Do you guys have any questions? How about the team leader? She is Sarah. She is the one who will guide all of you during your three-month training at the company. She is quite busy today, so she couldn't come. She will also be responsible for evaluating your results. Okay, I get it. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me. Thank you. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.